St. Albans is a gorgeous area just west of Wildwood. It is beautiful and it really flies under the radar with a lot of people. You don't always know it's out there unless you're looking for it. But some of these homes are gorgeous. I mean, you will see places up on the bluffs looking out over the river just for miles. Like they are gorgeous, very custom homes. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what it's like to live there, some things you might want to consider before you make that decision and just show you what it looks like because it is gorgeous. So let's get right to it. Hey, welcome back to the video. My name is Jacob. I remember the first time I ever went to St. Albans. This was before I was in real estate. And the first time I was ever out there was with a friend of mine. And we're driving through the woods. We're driving down, you know, Austin Fort Road through Wildwood. I'm like, where the hell are we? Never been there in my life. Had no idea where we were. We're driving through the woods. I'm like, okay, we're in the middle of nowhere. And suddenly, you know, we turn onto St. Albans Road. We start driving past the white fences, the golf courses, and get up into these neighborhoods with these gorgeous homes. Because one of our friends lived out there and I'd never seen their house before. And it was St. Albans. Flash forward to now, I'm like, yeah, of course, St. Albans gorgeous area, beautiful homes, but it's out there. So that's the thing about living here. You're going to be about 45 minutes away from downtown St. Louis. It feels very removed. It feels kind of secluded, like this self-contained community, but you're about 25 minutes from Chesterfield. You're about 10, 15 minutes into the main street area of Wildwood. So you've got some stuff close by, but you will drive there. I mean, it, you know, if you're driving down St. Albans Road, if you turn off of Route 100, if you've never been there before, you might start to feel like, oh my gosh, where are we? Are we in the middle of nowhere? And then you start to see the country club grounds, the golf courses, and you pull into this beautiful community that all surrounds the country club of St. Albans. So that's the thing to know about St. Albans. It is a country club community. It feels kind of self-contained because the country club is a big deal. That is a big draw for people moving here. Everything really surrounds the country club. You have two golf courses, beautiful clubhouse, the tennis courts, the pools, you have walking trails, lakes, and kind of this really cute village with some villas, you know, hotels, bed and breakfast, wedding venue. It's a really cool area. And hey, by the way, if you're moving to St. Albans or somewhere else in the area, if you want some help buying a house, buying a new place, send us an email or a text. My team and I would love to work with you. We are practicing real estate agents and we love getting business from this YouTube channel. It is definitely a higher priced area. A lot of homes here will start in the five or six hundreds and they can go up to three, four, five million, you will see a lot of these phenomenal estates in St. Albans. But if you're looking more for 300 or 400, that can definitely be a challenge here. It's a little bit slower paced. There's not always a bunch of options. So there might be a few listings at a time, but it's not the biggest area to pick from. St. Albans is always a little bit slower than the rest of the market. So if everything else in St. Louis is a hot market, St. Albans is a little bit cooler. If the rest of the market's pretty slow, St. Albans might be a little bit slower which is great if you're a buyer, but when it comes time to sell, it can have some challenges. And what you wanna know about St. Albans, you're gonna have the owner's association if you live here, can sometimes be pricier compared to other parts of St. Louis. So if you buy in St. Albans on closing, you're gonna pay $1,000 to the owner's association. It's a one-time contribution. And then your HOA dues will usually be about $2,000 a year, and it's 1,000 bucks every six months. And that covers things like landscaping, maintenance, common grounds, gates, and that covers the security for these neighborhoods. Now, the location is pretty similar to Wildwood. If you like that kind of woodsy feel, more secluded, more peace and quiet, but the community is what makes it different in St. Albans. Just having that social atmosphere, the get togethers, the whole country club scene is a big deal for people who are into that. But I mean, the homes here, like gorgeous, a lot of these very stately looking brick homes, stucco, stone, like very custom, very like well-designed in my opinion. And it's kind of off the beaten path. So it's not really easy to just kind of stumble upon if you're driving around, like unless you're driving out towards Washington or Herman on a road trip, you're not really just gonna stumble upon St. Albans. So it's kind of hard to find unless you know what you're looking for. And the fact that it's in a different county adds to that. So. It's in Franklin County. You're not in St. Louis County. And I think a really big reason why St. Albans tends to be a little bit slower paced is that it's basically right next to the border with St. Louis County. But if you're searching on Zillow or Realtor.com and you're looking on the map for St. Louis County, you will not see St. Albans. You won't see the homes for sale. You will see no listings unless you remove the boundary. Now you might be thinking, okay, Jacob, that's kind of a weirdly specific reason it's a slower paced market. 
But I promise you, in the age of social media, the internet, Zillow, all this social media stuff, it really depends on searchability. So if people are looking in St. Louis County, they're not going to see St. Albans unless they remove those search filters. I mean, literally, you got to think about it like this is like the Tinder for real estate. You know, people are looking at pictures, they're swiping left, they're swiping right, they're scrolling through Zillow, and they're deciding very, very quickly if a house is a yes or if it's a no. And the fact that St. Albans does not show up in search as easily, I think definitely makes a difference when considering, you know, it's a slower paced market, which is great if you're buying, can cause some issues if you're selling. I mean, really, sometimes, yeah, it's about price, but sometimes it's just about timing the market because places in St. Albans don't always sell very quickly. Some of them, yes, there are exceptions, but a lot of places here you'll see above 1.5 million, above 2 million. It takes multiple tries. It takes some price drops sometimes, and it really just takes, you know, finding the right person at the right time. I mean, searchability is huge these days. Coming from the guy who's making the YouTube videos, I think about it a lot as far as how are you reaching as many people as you can. And this comes up with pricing too. It's the same thing. If you're looking at houses, you'll see some that are 495. 499 and then some that are 500,000 on the dollar. And it's the difference between basically Walmart pricing of, you know, like make it a little bit less, make it like that psychology of a little bit lower versus bridge pricing, which is what we talk about sometimes with clients. Like if you want to maximize your exposure, you do it on the bridge between two different price points. Cause if you're, if you're selling at 495, you're going to miss out on everyone who has their search criteria for five to 550 or 500 to 600. Likewise, if you're priced at 505, 506, you're missing out on people searching from 400 to 500 or 450 to 500, where if you price it with bridge pricing, it just makes it a lot easier for search. That is a huge thing these days. Now, St. Albans was really kind of master planned in the 80s and 90s. So a lot of the homes you'll see here are 20 to 30, 35 years old. So sometimes they are a little bit dated. Sometimes they are updated on the inside. Just depends. And the, the nice thing about this too is that they didn't develop the whole area to its max. So there are still lots available if you want to build. I mean, people will occasionally, you know, build a brand new house in St. Albans because they kind of left room for new lots to be built over the next couple of decades. And there are still lots available in St. Albans. And the country club is beautiful, but they also kind of have this little village right there in St. Albans too. There's some villas, there's some shops, there's a bed and breakfast, hotel, wedding venue. They have all sorts of stuff for social events, parties, get togethers, whatever you want. That's a cool part of St. Albans. And it's just beautiful. Like you have lots of nature, outdoor space, the walking trails, and just these beautiful homes that are, you know, in the woods, they're up on the bluffs, they're looking out over the golf courses, whatever it is, you have some phenomenal estates in St. Albans. And it's funny because a lot of them will look out over the Missouri River if they're up on the bluffs and you basically look out over Defiance and Augusta. So if you're driving on Route 94 going out towards the wineries in Augusta and you look to your left, you will notice the big homes up on the bluffs across the river and that's St. Albans. I mean, let me tell you the backyard on some of these places, the infinity pool looking out, it is unlike anything else you can really find in St. Louis. There's a couple places you might see that, but it is really unique. That's one of my favorite parts about it. The thing with St. Albans is that you're going to have to drive either to 64 or 44 if you're going into St. Louis and St. Albans isn't really that close to either one. So 64 and 44 kind of come at each other like at an angle and they like get closer and closer as you go towards downtown. But St. Albans is kind of like right in between. So you're either going to take route 100 and go up towards 64, or you're just going to go down South towards 44. And that'll take you into St. Louis city. If you take route 100, that becomes Manchester road, which is a nightmare sometimes with traffic. If you're driving towards St. Albans, it's fine. It's, it's a highway. I think the speed limit's like 55 or 60, but then it turns into Manchester, which is stoplight after stoplight after stoplight, busy area, lots of strip malls. It is chaos during rush hour. So if you're driving into the city, you got to think between 44 and 64 
if you're living in St. Albans. And it's not like you're in the middle of nowhere. It feels kind of rural to get there, but you're like 10 minutes away from Wildwood. If you take Route 100, there were some really cute shops, restaurants, there's a grocery store, like there's stuff nearby. And then you can go into Ellisville, Baldwin, you know, that's probably 20 to 30 minutes away, depending on where you go. That's really the only downside you want to think about. And I mean, some people really like the fact that it's further from the city, more peace and quiet. It's not really trafficy out in St. Albans. Harder to get to, you know, if you value kind of that self-contained community aspect could be great. But if you want like a 20 minute drive into St. Louis, it's probably not going to happen in St. Albans unless you're driving like 90 miles an hour to get to St. Louis. And if you're just staying here for a night, you can get a villa, little cottage or rent out a house, whatever you want. They have some cool options for just spending a night in St. Albans if you don't want to live here. Overall, it is gorgeous. It's like this hidden gem west of St. Louis. And hey, again, if you're moving to the area, whatever that looks like for you, if you want some help, just send us an email, send us a text. My team and I would love to work with you. That is what we're here for. I mean, every time my team and I talk about it, it is beautiful. Like we love St. Albans. We don't have people moving out here super often. Sometimes it's a mix, you know, between people moving to St. Louis for the first time or people from St. Louis who are just going further out west. But outside of that, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video on the Living St. Louis channel. Take care.